Pastor Jerome Fernando is a man after God's heart, whom the Lord has separated and chosen to accomplish his mighty work here on earth. Being the senior pastor of King's Revival Church, Sri Lanka, the Lord has entrusted him with one of the largest growing churches in Colombo, with over 3,500 men, women and children. In his relentless quest of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, Pastor Jerome has left himself pliable to the mighty hands of God. And through him, the Lord has brought healing to the sick, deliverance to the burdened, and freedom to the oppressed. The Lord has expanded his ministry internationally by bringing thousands to gatherings organized and held in countries worldwide, and most recently, globally via God TV Media. In order to spread the truth of the gospel more effectively with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, this year Faith Food was launched in order to further edify and encourage people of God, bringing an anointed message from the throne room of God once a week. I bring you greetings in Jesus' mighty name. And I want to thank you for joining every week on a Thursday on PastorJerome.org for these Faith Food broadcasts. This upcoming month in February, leading up to February, starting from this day, you will be experiencing something new. We are blessed as a ministry, not just to have just myself, but we are blessed with many great men and women of God. And in these next four weeks, I want you to receive that same blessing as you listen to uh, my associate pastors as they come to you with a word from God. Open your heart to them, open your spirit to them. What they share, receive it with humility. Pastor Shekha, our associate pastor for Mount Lavinia. Pastor Raja, our associate pastor for Dehivala. Pastor Errol Erdley, our associate pastor for Colombo, and Pastor Pio Anandappa. He is uh, in charge of all aspects of worship in our church. These four dear men of God carry a special word from the Holy Spirit for you every week. Just for the next four weeks, you are going to listen and pay attention to what the Lord has placed in their hearts. So once again, I remind you, open your heart to them open your spirit to them, humble yourself and let the word of God be manifested in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. So enjoy the upcoming Faithful broadcast for the next four weeks as Pastor Sheka, Pastor Raja, Pastor Errol and Pastor Pio brings you a word directly from the throne of grace. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. Let us know how you have been blessed. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Beloved sons and daughters of God from all 40 nations, welcome you to another Faith Food video on Pastor Jerome.org. I count on and privilege to minister today in the next few minutes on what the Holy Spirit has on my heart for you. I want to minister on the subject, clarity in direction. Uh, clarity is so important for us in, dire in our direction when we're moving. Uh, for example, if you're driving a vehicle and you're going on a misty day or a very uh, day with so much of a fog ahead of you and you can't see the road, you can't see the turns and um, uh, you need clarity in, in direction, otherwise you could make a mistake, uh, you could, it could be fatal. Uh, so in our walk with God, uh, we need to have clear directions so that we will not make mistakes, so that we will not regret, we will not do something wrong and five years later we say, oh I made a terrible mistake, I didn't know. Uh, so today I want to uh, show you um, uh, two keys. Uh, on how to have clarity in direction and uh, you will not make a mistake. Uh, things will be very clear to you, you will know how God directs to you and you will have uh, a good uh, walk with the Lord and a good uh, direction. I want us to turn to Acts chapter 13, 1 to 3. Acts chapter 13, 1 to 3 declares, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manain, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. 
as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereon to have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. I read the first verse to show you that there are many people here, including Barnabas and Saul. And they got such clear direction and from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit, that they got even the, the, the two people that were called out of the soul bunch. And that was really uh, clarity, really clarity uh, in, uh, in direction. And I want to bring you two keys today. In verse 2, it says, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted. I want you to bring the word, the word minister unto the Lord. Um, it is not really praying. It is ministering unto the Lord. The word there in the Greek is liturgio. It means worship, obey, and relieve. It means worship, obey, and relieve. So uh, here we worship the Lord, we obey Him, and we relieve Him of what's on His heart. Uh, we see here that... Uh, it's a, it's a picture of a servant and a master. We are, of course, uh, sons and daughters in our relationship to our father. But when it comes to our work, we must have the mindset that of a servant heart, of a servant and a master, and to obey him and uh, to worship and then to relieve him of what's on his heart. Uh, success comes when we, as uh, children of God, uh, seek the father's heart for what the father has on his heart. But Father, what do you really have on your heart for me today, uh, this week, this month? What really do you want me to do? And in that, we relieve our Heavenly Father and please Him so much. Because there's so much things on His heart and people are so busy. People, most are, are clouded, they're not clear in what to do. And so, uh, when we uh, minister unto the Lord in worship, in obeying and relieving Him, we fulfill that purpose, what He has for us. We come to know how clear it is. Um, in, it, it can be in our clarity in our business, our job, our finances, our marriage, uh, the work we do, even in our health, um, in our children, in everything that we need to do, it is dear to us. God wants to show us and wants to guide us with clarity, very clear. So it says, they ministered unto the Lord, and verse 2 says, and they ministered to the Lord and fasted. And the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work where I have called them. As they ministered to the Lord, and also they fasted. Fasting really uh, gives us uh, clarity. Fasting gives, prepares us. It doesn't influence God to do something. Fasting doesn't push God to do something. Fasting really helps us. Fasting really gives us clarity. Move away from all the fog. Move away from all the mist. Move away from all things that are distracting us and stuff like that. And we can have real clarity. I mean, that's what fasting is all about, just to know exactly what God wants us to hear. Fasting also disciplines your flesh and brings the flesh under control uh, so that you can position yourself to hear from God. God desires so much to speak to us. He desires so much to talk to us and guide us correctly because He is our Heavenly Father and we are His children. So uh, as we begin to minister unto the Lord and fast, God's going, God spoke to to the crowd there and uh, chose Saul and Barnabas for the work that he had called them to do. There are times when you worship the Lord uh, uh, in time like this, going back again to minister unto the Lord. When you worship the Lord, there are times when we like to, uh, in my prior time, I like to sing songs from my heart. Uh, I want to thank Him and to love Him and to say, Lord, so much. I want to thank You for all You've done for me and for all the for using me so much and for um, so many miracles that You're doing and for blessing me and my family, giving me a happy marriage and good children and a good ministry and blessed, blessing me with every good thing. I want to so be grateful. I want to worship and to thank You. And some of the songs we sing in church, uh, are different to what we could sing in our prayer time, in our private time. So as we begin to sing in our private time the songs on our heart, we begin to minister to the Lord. And as the Lord ministers to us, we can also minister to Him. And uh, in, in worshiping Him and obeying Him and relieving of what's on His heart, uh, we are really ministering to the Lord. So then as we fast and pray, God reveals to us uh, what, we do, what to do and give us light and guidance in what we are doing in our daily walk with you. And many years ago, uh, when I was ministering unto the Lord and in fast, uh, the Lord spoke to me something about not only, not only ministry, but even my family. 
Uh, my wife was uh, uh, a bit sad because God told me, showed me that I'm neglecting him since not giving him much time. So busy with ministry and the work has been uh, giving uh, less time. And uh, God spoke to me on that. And uh, when I told her that, uh, tears came into her eyes and she was very happy and says, thank God. And uh, uh, God uh, guided me to do that, even that in your marriage, to make your marriage very happy, to make your life uh, successful. So God is a good God, not only in ministry, He wants to show you in your private life anything you want to do. He's a good God. And finally, uh, when God gives to add direction, they fasted and then they prayed. I like that. When the dictionary comes, they fast and prayed and lay hands on, on, uh, on them, on Barnabas and Saul, and sent them to do the work that God has. Such was the clarity in the early church. Such is the clarity that God wants to give us too. As a New Testament church, as our sons, God's sons and daughters, uh, we can have clarity in our, in our lives and direction. I bless you with these words, and I thank you for listening. God bless you. God loves you more than you can imagine.